Good evening. I didn't see you there. How did you get into my house? After a long day of being correct about wrestling on the internet, I like to come home and have a good read. See, I collect diaries written by your favorite WWE superstars. Would you like to hear one? I bet you would. This is one of my favorites. It's the diary of Michael Cole. Third of April, 2011. Dear Diary, I woke up crying like every morning since 2008. My wife was downstairs cooking my favorite plain cereal with Mountain Dew instead of milk. I love Mountain Dew because Vince tells me to like it and Vince is my best friend. I'm Michael Cole. I went downstairs and ate my cornflakes. Oh my, I said, electric cornflakes. My wife just looked dead ahead as I ate the small nosebleed, the only sign that she was alive. It means she loves me. I went upstairs and took out a marker and drew on the little soul patch that everyone likes before putting on my favorite suit and heading off to the best job in the world. I arrived at the Georgia Dome for WrestleMania 27 and parked my car quite a long way away because in my reserve space, JBL had left a dead cow with the word Maggle branded on the side. I didn't mind though, because JBL is my best friend. Even though I have a match tonight with my best friend, Jerry the King Lawler, I still have to do some of my reaction talking, so I take to the mirror to practice my surprised noises. Oh my, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's the one that everyone likes. Then I cry for about 10 minutes before getting changed into my orange jumpsuit. I try to lead everyone backstage in a chorus of old King Michael Cole, but my best friend Jack Swagger leads me away. Come away, Michael, he says. Come away now. From behind me, I can hear JBL say something and then the word maggle and everyone laughs. Sometimes I tell JBL that the B in JBL stands for best friend and sometimes he makes me eat coins that he finds on the ground. WrestleMania starts and I'm surrounded by 71,617 of my best friends. The Rock says something and everyone is very polite, but I know all my coal miners at home can't wait to hear me say things like, right to the skull and can I have your attention please? I've won two slammies. Then I have a match with my best friend, Jerry the King Lawler, and the crowd goes very quiet out of respect for the two slammies that I've won. I win by DQ, which everyone likes. When I get backstage, Vince is looking at a monitor. Did I do well? I ask. Vince doesn't look up from his monitor. Did I do well? I ask again. Vince turns and walks over to me. He looks me dead in the eyes, presses a bottle of Mountain Dew into my hand and says, the cold winds of winter will sweep you to your grave. He's my best friend. Driving home was hard because someone had smashed the word Maggle into my windscreen with a hammer, but I made it. I always do. I got home and my wife was sat motionless at the dinner table, loving me like she does. I took off my orange wrestling tights that everyone likes, put them in the closet and wept for 35 minutes, then off to sleep in my comfy bed, happy forever. Mmm, vintage pillows. Heartbreaking stuff. Join me next time for another episode of Superstar Diaries. Whose diary would you like to see me read out? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you can follow me on Twitter here. I'm Adam from whatculture.com, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>